It's the Date Master, and yes, we're back again with another video. This is going to be a different take from my recent videos. We're gonna we're gonna get into some deep therapeutic content tonight. Um, some men may be relate. I think a lot of men can relate because I have videos that did fairly well, and it was in regards to the mothers. And you know, a lot of my content seems as if it's targeting to women, but when you go through my catalog, it actually holds both parties accountable. So tonight we're going to talk about the fathers and the men who resent their fathers, even though there may be some young boys, but they may not be mature enough to really get a full scope. So what I come to understand in my 39 years, you must understand this Internet world that you see is not real. A lot of people give the highlight real. They give the highlight story. They give the ups, nothing but the ups, no downs. They don't really keep it as real as they think. They're chasing the bag to cover up holes that have been left in them by various experiences. Some from their mothers, some from their fathers, some from their girlfriends. A lot of the questions you men have, it revolves around you and relationships with women. Why didn't this not work? Why did this woman cheat on me? Why did this woman divorce me? That shit fix itself. We'll, you, you'll get to that. You do the self-improvement. You, you, you start to learn yourself, master yourself. That, that'll sort itself out. But in my own experience, because I like to be transparent, I like to keep it as real as I can with myself. A lot of men try to comfort themselves with trinkets and decadence women drugs sex and they're never they're, they never get the satisfaction or the feeling of fulfillment because they still have not kept it real no matter what they say so a lot of men have fathers who were basically just caregivers dressed them up fed them that's it you figure the rest out and I myself dealt with this trying to seek a father's validation. Some of you may have heard me speak about my father in certain lights, but as of recent, we came to a, we had a, a, a awkward conversation. It was a, a disrespectful conversation. And I, a lot of men, you, you're you going to have an intuition about women, but you're also going to have an intuition about a lot of other things. But because we live in the Bible Belt, I'm in the South. I'm not sure where you are. We're taught to, you know, you honor your mother and your father. You honor your parents. I, I, I truly believe this. But what about that boy or that girl who was starved by their parents? What about that boy or girl who was neglected? What about that boy or girl who was left for dead? Are they supposed to honor their parents? parents when their parents left them for dead misled them neglected them did everything to hold them back did not support them did not pour into them see i'm not gonna subscribe to that shit because the bar is in the fucking toilet and a lot of parents get a, a pass because of that whole biblical and religious narrative that you don't supposed to call your parents out on fuck shit when they are absolutely on fuck shit i don't subscribe to that and i know some of you men that are going to hear this video you're going to identify with this and you have these feelings towards your father you hear the stories you you never really got to know who your dad really was you only know who he showed you to be who he portrayed himself to be but a lot of our fathers have a dark past my father has a dark past my brother had a dark past until he was murdered at 23 my brother was a stone cold killer my, my, my own father told me this that my brother was a stone cold killer in the dope game so i asked you know i had a conversation with one of my guys and i said you know do you believe in generational curses and I said, how does a father lose his first son in such a violent way? I always had these questions. And I said, what did do the sins of the father fall on the son? Because I think in, 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 I forgot what book it is, but I believe it's three generations. So dealing with, you know, obstacles and, you know, emotions of, of my own. I, I had to really look at my father and see what he did not want to show me. 
but I heard what he said to me. I heard how he spoke to me. I watched what he didn't do versus what he did do. And I myself, I am currently dealing with a resentment of my own father. See, a lot of guys get on this Internet and they like to talk shit, but they don't keep it as real as I'm going to keep it. They're never. That's why my channel is it, it's, it's not it's not there yet, because this shit is too raw and too real. The shit I speak cuts deep. I know a lot of you men resent your fathers. Your fathers talk all this, but you find out your father used to beat women. You find out your father was a murderer. You find that your father did all type of things. Not saying any man is perfect because they're not, but you come to find out your father has a dark past. It is going to bother you when you look at the reality in which you live. You look at the reality in which your siblings live. You're going to start to ask questions as to how did we get here? Why do I feel like this and have these questions? You notice your father becomes distant, does not want to have any real conversation with you. That is a man who is hiding something from you or is afraid that you know something that he did not tell you. And that is a, it is about him. How many guys have went through this or is going through this? That's why I say this channel is too real. For, it's too raw for TV. We're going to keep it all the way a thousand. A lot of you fathers are shitty. And the fathers that I'm speaking to won't even get on YouTube because they don't want to do the work. They don't want to find out what the fuck I did wrong. What can I do better? They think they got it. See, we got a lot of male platforms that, you know, we try to because women have beat, beat us up in, a, in, in, in many on many fronts. But a lot of men get certain amnesty. They 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 escape certain criticism because. It takes a special type of mind to really know how to dig into certain fabrics and find out what the fuck really happened and what is going on and what is really what when it comes to male behavior, psychology, and even into the, the spiritual, the spiritual world. That world that is so great, that has so many unanswered questions, but you know what you feel. You know what you feel is real. You know what I learned about a man, a man that is shamed, he hides. He hides from the world. He doesn't he cuts off all his friends. He does not celebrate anything because he he has too much to be ashamed of that. He doesn't feel worthy of celebrating anything. That's what I notice. A man of shame is going to hide himself. He's going to he's going to go underground. He doesn't want to interact in some cases, in a lot of cases. In other cases, you have the intellectual man who just is an introvert and he feels he's above the bullshit. You have those, too. But you got a man, a, sh a man that's shamed of himself. He has a awkward behavior pattern. He's very awkward in what he consumes, how he consumes it, how he works. See, this is the conversation a lot of men are afraid to have, but we're going to have it tonight. We're going to have that conversation tonight. A lot of men fail in life, fail in relationships because they have no identity. Because their father, we have a notion. All your father has to do is raise you up to 18 and get you the fuck on. I don't subscribe to that fuck shit at all. You're my son until I leave this planet, until you leave this planet. I don't give a fuck if you're 18 or 45. If you come from my seed, you're forever mine and I'll forever look out for you. See, the bar for the black, a lot of times you're going to see this in, in many uh, backgrounds, communities. But in the black community, we have so many narratives and so many excuses that mass under and hide under that umbrella of church and religion. You can't call your parents and your dad out for, for shit. I don't I don't buy into that. I don't buy into that. I'm sorry, I don't. You have a lot of broken men walking around the world because they don't know who they are. So what they do, they break other people and break other people. And you have this vicious cycle. Because you have a lot of men that are just out here fucking 
and getting fuck trophies have no plan for the seed that comes about have no plan they're just playing it how it goes i get calls a lot about helping little boys because i'm a part of a mentoring organization this is this is just not by happenstance i'm not doing mentoring just because it sounds good this is a calling i get calls for little boys we had to bury one of our boys in may we had to put we had to bury i went to the funeral it's one of our shining stars in our in our in our mentorship we had to bury him yes a lot of boys are walking around with identity crisis and we have a lot of men who secretly resent their fathers but because of the umbrella of religion and all of this father son respect di di dynamic which I, I i i i adhere to to a certain degree but if my father was a murderer grapist you think I, I I supposed to have that same respect? I supposed to I supposed to tiptoe and walk on eggshells when my father is a degenerate? Absolutely the fuck not. It won't go on my watch. No, 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 no. See, manipulation, it works in so many different ways. Our parents are the first manipulators, believe that or not. They indoctrinate us with the religion. They indoctrinate us with these walls to where we only go so high, which is why you have most people that end up just being mediocre or just barely getting by because the bar is set in hell because people fail to do better. They don't want to do better. They don't want to be better. So they cope and they give excuse and they and they shirk the responsibility and they shirk the uh, what I what I would like to call the burden of failure, as if it's just something that happened. Man, I understand your plight. If you're going through an identity crisis, you're trying to find yourself. I understand that. You just have to keep doing the work. You have to keep doing the digging. Search for those answers. If you can't have that conversation with your father, then so be it. But I know for a fact, a lot of men resent their fathers and they have identity crisis. They, they, they go through these identity crises for that very reason. They go through the issues that they have with women and other people for that very reason. A lot of fathers get to get off easy child support i don't have to raise them i just pay the 350 a month and that's 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 me being a father no 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 that's not it a lot of men unalive people because of the issue they have with their father and i think i may have touched on this in a video prior to this one if you have issues with your father i would advise to try to resolve it try to find out who he is and in most cases, fathers are afraid that their children will find out not just fathers, but parents all together. But fathers are afraid if they're not living right, if they're not right, that their sons, if they have them, will find them out and will find them not to be the man who they spoke, who they talked themselves up to be, who they portrayed themselves to be. I told you we're going to have a deep conversation tonight. As a man, you have to find yourself. And a lot of men want to be like their fathers. That's why they say the apple does not fall too far from the tree. So if you don't like yourself, you see, why am I fucked up? Why am I doing this fuck shit? Because we do we all do a certain level of fuck shit. And we we don't know why, but we just do it. Well, you gotta ask yourself, well, where did you get it from? Why are you so comfortable doing it repetitively? So we're going to end that that narrative that you can't question your parents when they're full of shit, when they're on bullshit. We have to end that because what that does is continuously keep the bar low and gives passes to parents that raise kids that you see running around today, causing all of this havoc. All of this trouble, babies out of wedlock. All of this. Is usually at the fault of the parents neglect because they want to still do what the fuck they want to do. But that's my video for the for tonight. You guys let me know what you think. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It's the Date Master.